Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. I'm here with Jamie Trent, cinematographer extraordinaire, and we're talking about in camera versus post effects. So things like um, uh, anamorphic lenses, um, in, uh, in front of lens filtration, like your black pro mists, and also camera shake. You know, when do you, or what, what's the thought process that goes into doing those things on camera, uh, on set in camera? or getting a clean plate and putting that stuff in post and you know what are the what are the upsides and downsides of both i think the ability to do to, to do stuff in post is a lot safer because once it's in camera it's it's done yep. it's burned in and you can't change it there's no going back there's no going back but these days with post being made so readily available and so easy it can be done without any problem at all. It's just the, the time to, to do it. Yeah. You, I mean, when we went from um, film to digital, it didn't, it, you know, at least for the first few years, it wasn't that much cheaper. What it did do is move the expense into post. So you could get the camera in the can, so to speak, like get the, sorry, get the film in the can, right. get the film right. shot. And then the expense was the color grading and all that Converting stuff. Converting it, digitizing yeah. it, getting it all, yeah. Camera effects like um, Black Pro Mist. You said you shoot one eighth Black Pro Mist on the front of every camera and pretty much every big feature you do. Religiously, yeah. yeah. It's, does, it's just it just takes the edge off, gives it a little soften, and it's not that much that you know. These days, I mean, I mean, you can do the same thing in post. You can soften, but this gives it a more organic, mm -hmm. organic kind of feel, and it's it's and nothing it's, that's that's too dramatic as long as you have a good focus puller yeah. and your focus is sh sharp. sharp one eighth does great if you i mean if they want a more extreme softness would you go down to a a quarter or even a half or a full or would you do it an eighth in camera and then add that same effect in post uh, i would be adding it in post yeah it, it would just for me it's a no-brainer because the big advantage of in camera effects is that you see them on set. You have your monitor, um, you are looking at the image that's close to what you're gonna, what's gonna end up in the final film if you're using in camera effects like filters, um, you know, the, the lens effects, you know, camera shake. The DP, if you say you're shooting a, you know, uh, an explosive fight scene, mm -hmm. you know, he wants, he wants a real Jason Bourne camera shake effect, you're doing it on set. It's not really great for the camera or the lens. Right, right, but, right. Um, you're doing it on set. Whereas if you shoot it locked off or with just a little bit of movement, wider than you plan to shoot. So you go, you know, say you, they want you on a 50, you go down to 35 mil on the lens and right. say, yeah, we're going we're gonna to punch in and add as much camera shake as we want in post. I'm going to do a little bit now. It takes a lot more trust for the director to be like, okay, I believe you. And I guess testing, doing yeah. doing tests, like any any time I do something that's that's new or cr creative in that way, it, you 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 have to test, like yeah. testing for lighting, for skin tones, testing for your color palette. How are the clothes going? I mean, all these things. Of course, if you have the time, yeah, uh, to, to do it, even if I don't have the budget, yeah, even if I they're will, not going to pay you to do the tests, you do them. Even yourself. if they don't pay me, it's like it's worth. I mean. This is your future, yeah. <laughs> so kind of like a guarantee that you, you're going to succeed. Yeah. So I will literally factor in time and and do the tests and show the show the producer and the director, just so everyone's on the same page and like this is what we can do and this is how it was done and yeah. I mean that's a good segue into lenses because you've got if you've got your rental house and they know you, you can say okay I feel like shooting anamorphic on this on this. Um, show is going to be a good choice let me test anamorphic against spherical and I'll show exactly. you what it is and then I can also shoot spherical like we're going to do now and add an anamorphic effect to it and so if you know somewhere down the line we decide we want the anamorphics too extreme you know it's 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 too distorted at the edges or or um, it's too much for what we want we can always put it, shoot spherical, add an anamorphic effect, and then dial it down to taste. But if we don't, if you haven't tested that, actually shot in anamorphic and gone into post and added flares mm -hmm. to the anamorphic shot. 
you're like, well, why didn't you just do it in, in camera? Well, sometimes you can't always create the flares that you want when you're shooting it. It doesn't always sort of pan out the way you would love it. Okay, so we're going to test a couple of um, those things. We're going to test uh, a ProMist. We're going to test Camera Shake, and we're going to test Anamorphics. We're going to A and B it. We're going to put, um, you know, in camera and a clean plate, and then see how how close to the clean plate can we get the VFX to match the um, in camera. thank our friends at evidence cameras in echo park cool yeah the the uh, they we got that atlas, atlas atlas anamorphics and the cook s4s from um evidence uh if you're in la and you're looking for these lenses um definitely check them out give joel a call down at evidence in echo park they got a, a huge range so thank you to those guys for providing these for us today yeah so that's our look at the difference between in-camera effects and um, in post effects. Really, there's there's no silver bullet. It's not like you should definitely do in-camera, you should definitely do um, post. You, should def you, you absolutely should test what it is that you're gonna do yeah, before just... you do it. And also, a little, a little in-camera can help you sell a lot later. It goes a long way with the director when you've done it before and you're confident and that they feel that confidence. Yeah. When you go into it saying, yeah, I've, I've done a lot of testing on this. We've, we did it in A, B, and C. These are the projects that I've done it on. This is the result. You can even show them the results of some of the tests. Um, well, hey, thanks for doing these tests. Thanks for being on the program again. Uh, thanks for having me. We'll, we'll, we'll have you back again. We'll find out something Great. else we can do. Thanks, Jamie. Well done. Leave your questions in the comments. Uh, check the description for links uh, to evidence and to Jamie's reel and to a few other things and plus the stuff we're shooting with. And I will see you next time.